For now, this is Tristan Keats' home, but not the one he wants. This is his mother's small apartment, a rental. Keats is here, temporarily, with his three-year-old son. That's going to come to an end soon. And even when I say that to housing and everything else, you're going to have to go look for a shelter. Well, that's the thing. There is no shelter that's going to keep me and my son together. His options? Not many in a housing market that's in crisis. High rents and scarce government housing are just one barrier. He feels his background is another. So once they see on a piece of paper and they don't even meet me, it just says AES, single dad, child, uh, you know, all this stuff, they're usually just going to crumple it up and throw it out, right? At the Single Parents Association, Keith's story is familiar. When you look at the challenges that a dual income household is experiencing, it's probably doubled when you're looking at a single income household. So, I mean, just speaking for us alone, our food bank demand has skyrocketed in the last few months. Right now, he's on a waiting list for subsidized housing. That wait will take time, maybe two years, time he doesn't have. His choice is impossible. Go to a shelter and give up his boy. But you get to go home at the end of the day with a, with a check, a house, your kids, whatever you want, and you don't have to worry about my problems anymore, right? You get to go home to your life and you work for the government with all your power and you basically tell us all that we're nothing. That's how I feel. I feel like that's what the government's telling me right now, that I'm nothing and my son is nothing. Single parents like Tristan Keats have few options for housing. He doesn't know how his story is going to end, but he knows he might end up here on the streets. Arlette Lazarenko, CBC News, St. John's.